Hello YouTube, this is the second video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about basic JavaScript syntax and how to define variables and what a variable is for those of you who don't know. Um, so in the last tutorial, we created a document and in the head tag, we right before the closing head tag, we created a script tag. And inside that, we decided that's where, or I told you that's where to put your script. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I guess in this tutorial, I'll start off by showing you a variable um, and show you some syntax as we go. So uh, let me get started. I'll create a variable. A variable is a container for a value, basically. So in math, x equals 6 or whatever can be a variable and that can work the same way in JavaScript except JavaScript variables can store and variables in many other programming languages can store more than just numbers they can store strings which are like um, a set of characters like words or whatever um, they can store arrays which are sets of data like a list of <coughs> data um, they can store objects, like document objects, like HTML, um, and many other things also. Um, so I'm going to start by creating one. I'm going to call it x, and I'm going to give it a value of 6. And I'm going to place a semicolon after it. So here, if you've never programmed before, this is going to be kind of confusing. Um, basically, this string right here is um, a JavaScript knows what var or var means. I'm going to pronounce it var because that's what I'm used to, but some people like to call it var. Um, JavaScript knows that this that this combination of characters means the user or the coder wants to um, create a variable. So after you write bar and a space, JavaScript knows that the next thing will be the name of the variable. And the name of the variable can be anything you want as long as it meets um, JavaScript's variable naming standards. So let's see, um, you can't start a variable with a number, and but you can have a number in it, as you can see. You can have uppercase and lowercase letters. And you can't start it or use any special characters like this. You have to, the only special characters you can use are underscore and um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. You can only use underscore in your variable names. So actually, you can use dash, sorry. Um, or maybe not actually you can't use dash only underscore so you can do anything from X to new variable 6 see so there's a wide variety of names you can use but a lot of the characters that are special are um, disabled because they need to be used for other functionality in JavaScript so um, I'm going to create another variable. You can again, you can name it whatever you want, and just like in math, we're assigning it a value. So I'm giving y a value of three and x a value of six. So nice. The nice thing about using variables is when you want to get the value of this later, you can get access to it. I'm going to be using alert. Alert just creates a pop-up box on, in your web browser that displays anything you want. Um, so we're going to alert X. So it gives us the value of X when we alert X. And now if I alert Y, it's pretty obvious what it will give us. There you go. Now. One of the cool things about variables is you can add them together. 
you'll know all this if you've already worked with variables. But um, there you go. So our desired output would be 9 here, which is what we're going to get. OK. Um, now we can combine. I'll show you different types of variables now. Um, Let's see, let's keep x at 6. Um, we're going to make a variable called my first string. Um, also, notice how I put a semicolon after each line. That's not mandatory, but um, like if you don't place them there, the browser automatically places them there, but you should place them there in case somebody's using a browser that doesn't automatically do that. Um, so they they aren't technically required in all the main browsers, but you should be placing them there. Um, so here's my variable, my first string, and we're going to give it a value of this is a string. So a string can have any code, anything inside of it as long as it's not a double quote. And you can use single quotes or double quotes. Anything inside the single or double quotes will be will have a string type. So um, if we alert out my first string, we're going to get a value of this is a string, as you'd expect. And you can put any special characters in there. You can even put HTML code in there. Alert won't, um, won't read the HTML code, but like it won't re convert it into HTML, but when you modify your document using JavaScript with the inner HTML method, which I'll be talking about later in later videos, um, it you can actually put you can put HTML code inside a string and have it and have HTML read it as HTML code. Um, and you can do any special character. And you can even put double quotes inside of it as long as it's not a single quote. Let's see. Um, so let's see. I'll also show you an array. An array is probably going to be a little over your head if you haven't ever worked with arrays before. But um, in JavaScript, you can define an array as that, as two brackets. And then set, it's, it's like a list of values. And they could be strings or numbers, sorry, or even other arrays, but that's kind of an advanced subject. I don't really want to get into arrays right now as they'll kind of confuse you. Um, but let me just show you that variables in JavaScript. For those of you who do know what an array is, I'm showing you that variable can store an array. OK, um, that's about it for this tutorial. We'll be going over more syntax stuff in later tutorials when we do um, if statements and loops and stuff like that. Uh, and we'll work with in indentation to make sure that you're doing that correctly. But uh, that's about it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll be working with the uh, developer console and um, a little bit with the document uh, with the DOM. So hopefully you're, this made sense to you. If it didn't, you can check out the tutorial on W3Schools. They have a good variable tutorial um, and explanation there uh, if this didn't quite make sense to you, but hopefully it did. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.